Hi, folks. Welcome back to another edgy conversation today. Uh, it's Zoe here with the Edge Network for New Ministry and Renewal. Uh, I'm really, really excited. Uh, today I'm joined by Sundo, who is originally from South Korea and became uh, a member of Grace United in Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan in 2016. Uh, and they are uh, recipients of an Embracing the Spirit grant, and they've been doing some phenomenal work in their community. Uh, and so Sando has agreed to join us today to, uh, to tell us a little bit about that great work uh, and share their story. Uh, so Sando, I will pass it over to you to start us off. You might tell us who you are, and then what's the innovative project or program that your community has been working on? Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Sando Hyun. I'm serving Grace United Church in Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan, and I'm happy to share with you about the medical, a volunteer medical transportation service in my community. Uh, Grace United Church is uh, located in a small city in northwestern part of Saskatchewan, and we have been providing transportation service for people in need of affordable transportation for their medical appointment in larger cities, such as uh, North Featherford, Saskatoon, or Lloydminster. And patients pay only fuel parking at meal for their trip. There's no other fee. And actually, we began to think about this idea several years ago when when the, um, the provincial government eliminated the public bus service in the province. And we recognize a major concern in community because people still have to travel to other cities for their uh, medical appointment. And not everyone has their own uh, reliable vehicle and some seniors are not comfortable with driving in larger cities. And taxi service from Meadow Lake to other city is very expensive. So a small group of people in my congregation came up with this idea of volunteer driving service for those in need of affordable transportation. And they worked with outreach committee and the church board to develop this new outreach ministry. So in the beginning, uh, volunteers used to drive uh, either their personal vehicle or patient's uh, vehicle for their trip. But when the COVID-19 hit, we, we were unable to continue our ministry and had to suspend the service uh, until further notice. But still people made phone call asking if they could use the volunteer driving service, and we had to say sorry, unfortunately. So that's why we began uh, searching up uh, any grant opportunities in the hope that we could get a vehicle equipped with uh, the safety measures, such as a plexi glass shield between the front seat and back seat to protect uh, the driver and patient. And we are so grateful for the uh, support from United Churches Embracing the Spirit grant and also a grant from federal government uh, grant program, which enabled us to resume the, the ministry this year in April with, uh, with a long-term lease vehicle from a local dealership. Yeah. Well and and at the present, we have 12 uh, volunteer drivers. And over the last two uh, months, we have made uh, six trips in April and May. That's so yeah. incredible. Um, it's amazing to hear how many folks are really relying on this service that otherwise they wouldn't have had access to. So you folks have really filled a big gap in the community, it sounds like. Um, what's been the most surprising part of this whole experience for you? Yeah, myself have done this volunteer driving a few times, and I found it is very interesting and, and meaningful experience. 
meeting with a new person in wider community and traveling together and getting to know each other. I shared about myself, where I'm originally from and how my life has been since I moved to Canada and also talked about my church and its ministries. And patients also share their life stories and what, uh, what makes their lives uh, difficult at the moment, for example. Yeah, it is, it is a very uh, interesting and new way of engaging people in wider community as part of Christian ministry. And the other thing I like to say about a positive reflection is that the people of Grace United Church have realized that there are resources and grant opportunities if available, if they try to find a way of moving forward with passion and purpose. Some church members uh, said they have heard of different stories of Mission and Service Fund of United Church of Canada, but they didn't even expect to their, their, um, their own congregation to be able to receive the financial support from the national church for something they do in their community. So that is something quite uh, encouraging and surprising and thankful. Yeah, that's so, so lovely to feel like, you know, you can make a difference in your community um, and do something you're really passionate about with the support of the National United Church. Um, and I love too, it sounds like it's, you know, it's been meaningful for the people at Grace United, but it also sounds like it's had a bigger, you know, impact across the whole community um, of supporting each other and being connected. How is this part, you know, of of your faith journey or part of the Christian ministry that Grace United is trying to live out in the world? Yeah, like many other communities of faith, uh, Grace United Church has been through many challenges and adaptation over the last few years of pandemic. For example, new learning about online worship video during the lockdown and reopening with uh, COVID-19 restrictions and another new learning about live streaming video and many other new learning and new ways of uh, doing ministry. And I'm so grateful that we didn't stay in a survival mode during the pandemic, but instead we, we have strived to find a way of being active in mission and service through this uh, volunteer medical transportation service and other new outreach ministries we started last year, such as uh, after school youth cafe for young students during the weekdays and monthly, monthly worship gathering on Sunday evening for uh, young families with little children, for example. I'm so grateful God, for God's wisdom and guidance in all of those uh, new opportunities and new ministries in my community. Honestly, I've been so busy involving all of those activities and new ministries, but I found my faith journey has been inspired and refreshed and strengthened over the last year. Yeah, I think this is so important for folks to hear that you know, it's it's not always just about the one project or the one thing that we're working on, that it kind of spills over into all of the ways that we're trying to live out our faith uh, and can kind of encourage us, give us a bit of a boost uh, or some energy uh, to keep doing this kind of work in our communities. Uh, and it sounds like you folks are really active and truly living out, you know, whatever the call is for you individually or for your community at large. Where, where does it go from here? What happens next for, for this program or for Grace United? Yeah, at the present, we have uh, the long-term lease vehicle contract for three years. And in the future, I hope we will be able to purchase the vehicle to continue the ministry, uh, the volunteer driving service. And another possibility is uh, working in partnership with other communities, 
community organizations. For example, Grace United Church is an active member of Meadow Lake Homelessness Coalition Group. And we shared, we shared with them about the medical transportation we offer in wider community. And recently we got uh, new volunteer drivers from that group outside the church. Yeah. And also we have agreed that Grace United Church would offer transport, may offer transportation service for the homeless people, not just for their medical transportation, uh, uh, medical appointment, but also when they have to move in a shelter located in other cities. Yeah, that is something we are excited about working in partnership with other community organizations. Wow, really exciting to hear about some of the possibilities for expanding or building deeper connections and more relationships, all kind of stemming from this first initial place around filling the gap for the need for medical transport. Um, I can't wait to see where Grace United goes with this and how this, how this plays out in your community. If folks are interested and they want to either learn more about Grace United, if they wanted to be in touch about potentially exploring this for their own communities, how can they find you folks or how could they reach out? Yeah, there is a church website at Grace United Church Meadow Lake and where, where you can find the poster and also more information about the medical transportation service. And also you can find, uh, you can Google Grace United Meadow Lake on Facebook and YouTube. Channel, yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much, Sundo. Um, as always, folks, I'll have uh, the links to Grace United's uh, website uh, and their YouTube and Facebook down below in the description box uh, as an opportunity for you to connect more. Um, but Sundo, thank you so much for the work that you're doing and the work that Grace United Church is doing uh, in Meadow Lake and all over different places in Saskatchewan. Uh, it's so important and sounds like much needed uh, care and love is being extended into the community. Uh, so thank you. We're so grateful for your energy and your leadership in your community. Thank you so much for having me on this interview. Really appreciate this opportunity to share with, with others what we have been doing in my community. Thank you. Wonderful. Thanks, folks. We'll see you back here next Monday for another edgy conversation. In the meantime, be well.